All landlords in my neighborhood raised rent to match the recent increase in pay most tenants Scott. My neighborhood is 90% graduate students, med students and nurses. I live close to a major university and medical school slash hospital recently, graduate students threatened to strike if our stipends weren't increased. The university caved and we got our raise. Simultaneously, nurses also got a major raise across the board because they were also planning a strike. In response, every single landlord has raised rent. Every. Single. One. So we're back to square one. This shit should be illegal. Next step, rent strike for all the tenants. One or two won't do the trick, but if all of you threaten to not pay, they will have so much loss that they might think it twice. Or threaten to strike at work again for raises. Your situation didn't change. At one point one of the three actors must cave in. They all expect it to be you. Don't let them win. You won once, you can do it again. This is why reform is inherently flawed. We can win as many reforms as we want, but unless we change the structure and incentives of capitalism, the capitalists will just adjust and continue what they're doing. This is the company town mentality, when all your major shareholders of real estate, corporations, etc. are the same 50,000 people then you are essentially in a massive company town. HTTPS colon slash slash n dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash company backslash town. Company towns result in companies making back every single thing that is paid to the worker. This is a form of economic slavery. Not chattel slavery, which is a whole additional layers of horror. But it is a form of economic slavery. Taking back everything to leave a population with nothing for its labor is the result of companies and landlords in general being able to do this. Also, individual landlords end up having to follow suit. Corporations raising rent results in rising appraisal value, which results in higher taxes. Smaller landlords do not have as many tax avoidance schemes as the wealthy, so they often cannot do much about the effects on them. Yes they may have a little wiggle room, but not that much. It's the same reason why raising minimum wage eventually helps small businesses, because raising the wage across the board will result in changing economics to support the new wage, it might hurt a little at the beginning, but the ripple effect results in smaller businesses being able to afford to pay because the economy naturally adjusts to change as a whole. In other words, addressing housing rental prices can have a ripple effect on allowing smaller landlords to follow suit. Your lease is a legally binding contract. Unless there's a clause in the lease specifically allowing the landlord to raise rent during the lease term then to the best of my knowledge they are bound by the rent amount in the lease. Your state should have a fair housing office. I'd strongly recommend you give them a call. America is just an open-air prison, fentanyl market. In South America, the new trend is vigilante community justice. Just a heads up. Contact DOJ and report collusion and price fixing. Even if it doesn't work, the investigation will put some fear in the asshats. In my city, it's illegal to raise rent more than 2% each year. I wish more people voted for the interests of the public rather than on virtue signaling our personality politics. Is this something the state's attorney general should get involved with? A living wage will never be a living wage until we deal with landlords. And this is why UBI will not work. The second the masters see you have expendable income they will raise rates. Add costs and do whatever they can to make that money theirs. Fuck landlords. Parasites on society. They're essentially stealing your pay rise and nothing is being done about it. One of the many reasons why I aim to avoid rent. I won't have have life dictated by some scum landlord. Go hunt those a landlords. Pretty much anyone who rents in the US has gotten their rent raised anywhere from 10% to 30% in the last year. We need unions against landlords. This is ridiculous. 
Rich people collude with each other to impoverish everyone else. This is what they do. Landlordism is wealth redistribution from the poor workers to the rich people who own real estate. They're literally leeches who will happily suck every pay rise out of you. Rent strike. All the landlords upping prices at the same time. By the same amount? Absolutely reeks of price fixing. Not sure what country you are from. But in most price fixing is very illegal. Might be difficult to get enforced though. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.